Good morning, Year 5. To our third lesson in um, this half term's unit um, of endangered animals and conservation. I'm just going to share my screen and then we can get started. Fantastic. So last week, we looked at some of the reasons animals are endangered or are becoming endangered. And we looked at reasons um, from everything from loss of habitat, like deforestation or the expansion of cities, um, to animals being hunted for their ivory or fur. So this week, we're going to be looking at the illegal wildlife trade in more detail. And we're going to be discussing what this means. So the illegal wildlife trail trade encompasses some of the things that we discussed last week. I'd like to give you 20 seconds to have a little think. What do you think this means? So you can either think in your head, jot it down if you've got a whiteboard and pen or a piece of paper, or if there's someone in the room with you, you can have a quick discussion with them. Well done, Year 5. So, the illegal wildlife trade is the selling or exchange of animals and also wild plants that are at risk and protected by law. So, it is illegal to sell or buy or trade these um, animals or plants. Um, and it can involve... Um, live animals like we discussed last week with the pet trade or live plants that are endangered and these could be for example rare orchids which is a type of plant or tropical birds it can also involve the products that have come from those plants or animals so like we were talking about last week as well fur and ivory um, and often these things are used to make jewellery, medicine, or for food or clothing, okay? And this illegal trade in wild plants and animals is a growing threat, pushing thousands of species to the brink of extinction. So remember in our first lesson, we looked at those three categories. We looked at vulnerable, endangered, and critically endangered. So those are kind of the three groups of animals um, that would be protected by law um, because they are at risk of becoming extinct. OK, so what we are going to do today is we are going to look at seven uh, plants or animals in a little bit more detail and uh, your activity uh, today will be to answer a quiz about these animals so make sure that you're you are paying attention so the first thing I know you won't be able to see the words on this map at the moment and we'll be zooming in in a minute but what I would like you to do is look at where those arrows are pointing to and using your geography skills see if you can uh, think about where these animals are in the world and you could think about them in terms of the continent what continent they are in or if you have got fantastic geography skills you might be able to even see what country um, these animals are in so we've got um, the rhino the elephant the pangolin um, a parrot over there we've got the tiger um, an orchid and a deer. Those are all the animals that have got an arrow pointing to them. So I'm going to give you 45 seconds to have a little think, jot it down or speak to someone if there's someone in the room with you. Where are these animals in the world? Where are they?
Okay, well done year five. So what I've done is I've just put a star in the places where some of those animals uh, were just pointing to. Um, so we're going to start in uh, Brazil. So it was the Macaw, which is a, a, a very large, very vibrantly coloured uh, type of parrot. Um, who could tell me, or who can have a little think, um, what is in Brazil um, where these animals might come from? these beautifully coloured uh, macaws. What am I thinking of? Well done. So the Amazon rainforest um, in Brazil is where they come from. Um, and then moving over to um, Africa. So well done if you got that continent. Um, in Africa. Um, so we've got right at the bottom there uh, where the African rhinos, and they're kind of nowadays more mostly concentrated in four countries. All right, so we've got South Africa right at the bottom, Kenya, Namibia, and Zimbabwe. Though that's where you would find these uh, African rhinos. Um, then we've got uh, the African elephant, and this is mainly in South and East Africa, um, predominantly in Botswana, Tanzania, Zimbabwe, Kenya, Zambia, and South Africa as well. Um, and then you've got the pangolin, and that is spread around about 15 countries in South, Central, and Eastern Africa. Okay, so that's those were all the the the, the animals that were pointed out uh, in the continent of Africa. Moving over to Asia, well done if you got that continent. Um, we had the tiger um, that is in India. Uh, fantastic if you uh, spotted India there. Um, the musk deer, which we'll be discussing about in a minute. Um, was up near the Himalayas, but actually it spread, it, you can find it all the way from the Himalayas all the way into Russia. So it, it, it's got quite a, a large distribution there, but where it was pointing was around the Himalayas area. Um, and then we also had an orchid, um, which uh, looked like it was in kind of Southeast Asia um, around Thailand, Laos, Cambodia type area. So, well done if you could spot uh, where those arrows were pointing. Fantastic geography skills there. So, we're going to be talking about um, these animals now um, and what is happening to them in the illegal wildlife trade. Okay, so on average, one pangolin is snatched from the wild every five minutes. So let's just let that sink in. So every five minutes, a pangolin is snatched from the wild. Um, and they're trafficked to countries where their meat is considered a delicacy and their scales are believed to have healing powers. OK, and when we talk about trafficked, um, that means to illegally move an animal from one place to another place, okay? So then we've got the deer. The musk deer are hunted for their scent glands, which are used in perfumes and medicines. Um, and then moving over uh, to India, there are only around 3,900 3, tigers left in the wild. And the tigers are killed for their skins, um, and for their bones, which are used in traditional medicine. So moving on, we've got around 20,000 African elephants are killed every year for their ivory. And that's around 55 elephants are killed every single day for those beautiful tusks of theirs. Um, and on average, three rhinos are killed every day for their horns. 
And in some countries, rhino horns are also used for traditional medicine. Um, and then the illegal wildlife trade, as we've talked about, also includes plants as well as animals. So rare orchids, you can see a picture of an orchid there on the screen, um, are illegally being taken from the wild to be sold as um, ornamental plants because people think they're beautiful and they want them in their homes. And uh, finally, millions of animals are captured and sold illegally as exotic pets. So we were talking about this last week and when we talked about the pet trade. Um, so the vibrant feathers of the hyacinth macaw make it a target for the illegal wildlife trade. And there are only around 3,000 left in the wild. So, as I said, your activity will be to answer a quiz and um, the illegal wildlife trade quiz. So it's based on the things that we've discussed uh, today. And um, there's also a very short uh, clip and I'll make sure that the video link is in your worksheet um, and that will help you answer the first question on the quiz. Um, I will go over the, the answers next lesson. Um, and if you'd like to do some any extra research or work on this this week, um, you can find out more about the illegal wildlife trade. So you could go to the WWF website. They've got a lot about it on there. Um, or you could do some research about one of the animals um, we have discussed today. So you can do either of those things if you would like to do some extra work on this. Right, year five, well done. Thank you very much. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing your answers to the quiz. Um, you can either uh, do it on the sheet um, if you're able to print it out, um, or you could write the answers and the questions um, down on a piece of paper. Or you can just write it as a full sentence. So, for example, one of the questions is how many tigers are there left in the wild? You could just do a full sentence that says there are tigers left in the wild. And that would also be absolutely fine. So I'm looking forward to seeing your work um, uploaded on Seesaw and I will see you next week. Bye.